Hello everyone. So I am again back with a new how to tutorial and today um, I'll be telling about how to add Google Analytics code to your blogger account or your, you know, blogspot blog. So this is, uh, you know, one uh, blogspot blog that I've created, which is emarketingninjas.blogspot.in. Uh, since I'm from India, it's, it's showing me .in. So if I want to you know, add Google Analytics, there are different ways of adding it. So in this tutorial, I'll be covering two ways of adding Google Analytics code in your blogger or blogspot blog. So for that, you need to you know have the access to the Google Analytics backend. And secondly, you need the uh, dashboard access to your blogger account, definitely. So this is the uh, blogger dashboard. And here you have to go to the settings. And then you'll see there's an option called other. Under settings, there's an option called other. You have to go there and scroll it down. And there you'll see an option called Google Analytics. And it will be asking about Analytics Web Property ID. So let's go to the Google Analytics dashboard and see what is our uh, analytics web property ID for this blog? So since you can see that, you know, I've already added a, an account for this blogspot blog and under the property, you'll see there is a, uh, there's an option called tracking info, click on it and then the tracking code. So you can see the tracking ID is this one. So I'll just copy it and paste out here and then save settings. So you just need to you need not to you know post uh, paste any code. You just need a um, web property ID that you can copy from your Google Analytics admin section. You can see you can get these all all the information of tracking info under the admin section of Google Analytics. So here only you'll get the tracking ID. If you want the other in, in the other way, you need the code. So we'll copy this code. And the second method of adding Google Analytics in your blogger or blogspot blog is to edit the template. So I'll not, you know, uh, recommend this method if you're not having much technical info. So better you go with the settings thing. And if you have uh, some technical knowledge about coding or the HTML, so go, go to the template and then edit HTML of the theme that you have already selected. So paste your code, which is this one, website tracking code. Copy this code from here and paste before the head section is closed. So paste the code, uh, code out here and then you'll see an option called save template. And you're done. So these are the two ways of adding Google Analytics. I would, you know, again, I would say that I would prefer to go with the settings and the other other setting setting section to you know implement your google analytics code and if you want to test that if this code is you know um, working properly or not so you can either uh, use the send test traffic method and then you can go to the reporting section of google analytics and and then real time and you can see that one is already me which is you know i'm already on my blog and another is the test traffic that Google has sent. So I can see that two active users are there. So this is how you can test whether the Google Analytics code has been implemented well or not. So this is this is all about uh, this tutorial. So in, in case you have any questions, please post them in the comment sections below. I would love to answer them as always. Thanks a lot.